Which team do you think is a greater tra threat to the Yankees, the Red Sox or the Rays? Right now, it's the Rays. I, I really do believe it's the Rays right now, and it's because of their pitching. I mean, you know, they have the, the, the best pitching in baseball, um, top to bottom. And, you know, Snell, a healthy Tyler Glass now, and Charlie Morton are one of the toughest one, two, three, top of the rotations in all of baseball. Um, I think they're hitting enough. You know, the, the Rays are not going to light up the, the scoreboard every single night, scoring runs. But if I look at the Rays versus the Red Sox, the Red Sox have no problem scoring runs, but they give up seven a night. I mean, they, their pitching right. has been average at best. And so unless Sale and Porcello and Rodriguez really turn it on, I just don't see the Red Sox um, you know, being better than the Yankees this year. And nobody wants to have it hung on them, Mark. But what do I care? If, they, if the Yankees sweep the Red Sox, to me, the division's over for Boston. They could still get the wild card. They could still be dangerous in the playoffs. But in what world would the Yankees be able to allow the Red Sox to gain that kind of ground? I mean, they've played unbelievable baseball. They're only going to get healthier. I mean, I know it's only June, but if they're 12 games back, they'd be 0-6 against the Yankees. In what world would the Yankees give that lead up? I hear you. And, and, and Don, it's not like... The Red Sox have played great baseball and have been unlucky. I mean, they, they've played some ugly baseball the first two months of the season. Mark, let me interrupt you for just that... one moment. Uh, Yankee yep. Twitter reporting that tonight's game has been canceled and it will be made up on August 3rd at 7 p.m. So we'll follow with more information shortly. So no doubleheader coming up in the next three days, but tonight's game has been postponed. Well, this changes everything I was about to say. I just completely <laughs> Let's start from scratch. Start the segment over again. The Red Sox are back. They got a night off. It they does help the Yankees, though, Mark, because now they don't have to have a, an opener game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, back to my, my original point. I mean, I, I think the Red, the Red Sox are a little beat up. The Yankees are going to get healthier but even when the Red Sox get healthier, it's not like the Red Sox are missing Betts and J.D. Martinez and Price and Sale. I mean, you kind of have that type of feel here where at full strength, when the Yankees get back, even if when the Red Sox get Evaldi and, you know, maybe uh, Moreland gets back and Pierce, they're st they still do not have the firepower that the Yankees have. Now, you, you, mentioned, you mentioned Tampa. I just have to bring this up. The other day, they have 5,000 fans, the lowest attendance ever in their history. How does that affect a player? I'm amazed that this team can play as well as they do. They must just completely focus in on the game and not look around at the surroundings. You know, I, I would say, Michael, that it, it is tough. That being said, when the game starts, you really don't think about the fans as much as, as you would expect. When you notice it is in batting practice and when you're stretching down the lines and you're like, wow, this place is dead. And, and, and you know, I, I played on, on the Rangers teams that would go into Tampa, and I think you'd be lucky to get 5,000. Obviously, they were saying it was more because you know, it wasn't a record, but uh, you know, I felt like there were only a few thousand people in that, in that stadium. And I mean, I, I think the issue with Tampa is when you have a good, even when they're really, really good, fans aren't showing up. And that, that hurts as a player. It doesn't, it's not a big deal that people aren't there. Because if you're, you're playing 162 games and 81 at home, and you know every now and then you're going to have some, some tough nights for attendance. But when you're a really good team and your fans aren't showing up to support you, it's a, it is a bit demoralizing.